The Alarm should be Dobby, sir. Good morning. Welcome to Georgia. Brand new country. Another country here in the Caucasus. Stay in this little guest house. Farmer's house. Seven pounds a night. Seven pounds fifty a night. Which is incredible for a private room. Yeah, so we're in Georgia. Finally made it. It was a really bad travel day yesterday. We came from Sivan in Armenia. We had to get like a five hour Mashrutka to Tbilisi and then we had to wait a couple of hours for the Mashrutka to go to Tel Aviv where we are now which took like another three hours and the Mashrutka drive so fast not that I care but like after like eight nine hours of driving your head's all messed up as the roads are so windy but we're here so we're in Tel Aviv which is the capital or like the biggest city in the Kakheti region which is like a big wine region in the eastern part of Georgia and it's actually Art Artveli, I don't know if that's how you say it right now, which is harvest season. So everyone's picking the grapes and making making wine or church keller, the Georgian sweet, and all the good stuff. Oh, here we fell. And yeah, so I guess I was in this like little area out of town where everyone's got these huge houses growing grapes, fruit. Oh look at this puppy. <laughs> so cute. Oh, it looks like Shakti. It's like a little stumpy. Yeah. yeah, so it's a super nice area where we're staying. I think it's like a 15 minute walk to the city centre. Now I need to get this one off my chest because this really pisses me off. So on the bus yesterday we came from Yerevan and everyone on it was Russian. No locals. And all foreigners do this, we've noticed. So we got on the bus last because we got picked up somewhere else and all the double seats on the bus Someone would sit on the outside seat and put the bag on the inside seat and then not move. So we'd have to sit on like the single seats with our bags on top of us. And they'd, they'd like lie across the seats and it just really pisses me off. There's just no courtesy to anyone else on the bus. Yeah, I just, just need to get that off Jessica. It really pissed me off yesterday. Yeah, so this is our first, very first day in Georgia. I've had a lion because we were so knackered only thing we've noticed so far is there's just dogs everywhere more so than Armenia so many dogs this little dog over here they're everywhere so many street dogs everyone has dogs <laughs> crazy oh so for anyone who doesn't know Georgia is a country not the US state in the Caucasus a little mountainous country really beautiful we've got and it's bordered by Turkey, Azerbaijan, Armenia and Russia. I think that's it. It's quite a small country but the mountains are supposed to be incredible. We can actually, you can't see them yet because the clouds haven't lifted but on the drive yesterday we drove past some incredible mountain ranges that run right along the Russian border. Now first things first, like we do in every new country, what you have to do is go and check out the local market because that's how you get the best slice of local life isn't it see what they're selling see what the people like it's just what you've got to do so that's where we're heading because Tel Aviv supposedly has a incredible open bazaar we'll find out Good morning everyone. Hello. You alright pals? Hello. So excuse us super loud, busy road we've decided to eat at. We just found a little hole in the wall, super typical Georgian bakery. I don't know what the sign says, I'm presuming bakery. We've got a lobiani which is like a typical Georgian bread with like bean, like paste beans in. How is it? This is three loris, this is like a quid, 90p. Super filling. It's massive. It's, like it's so massive. Filling. This is really heavy, and this this could do two people. I'm telling you. It's just bread and bean, but it is pretty tasty. I wanted to try this, so I mean it's called gata. But we couldn't it's find it, could we? Kada, kada, kada. This is one lorry. It's like a sweet bread with butter yeah. and lard. Is it? Butter and no lard and something else. How's it like? 
really sweet. Mm -hmm. Because it's got like a little bit of spice in it as well, actually. Really? Mm. Come and just get a comparison for this. <laughs> I'm not even joking, this is heavy. This has a tiny bit of spice running through it, but only a mild. Let's swap. Oi! Is it good or not? Just a light and sweet. Chewy. Bread, very dense. Quite nice, actually. For one Laura, for 30p, I mean. Catch me get one of them every day. Look, everyone's. Everyone's here now. You can sell coffee for 60. I don't know what they call them. We have Lubiani. <laughs> Lubiani. Oh, spasiba, spasiba. We don't want them. We're about to head into the bazaar, but we couldn't help it. It's so hot. We've come out a bit, a bit too late here. We've got a tarragon, a Georgian tarragon, the first one. It's supposed to be the land of the best tarragon drinks, whatever you name it. It was made here by a chemist. Tarragon drink. That fact? Yeah, tarragon soda. Holy moly, it's incredible. That was two lorry. I think that shot was a bit expensive. Two and a half lorry. That's incredible. They do different flavours. We had one yesterday that was a, a grape with saparabi aroma, and it was one of the best drinks I've had in my life. What? Oh, it's gone. It's what the land it? of Nissan Micro here and I'm seeing them all. Well, everyone has a right and drive Nissan Micro. And it's me. I love Leach loves Micros. <laughs> here, if you have a problem in the car, you don't just like sit behind pulling your face. You lean out the window and you start screaming. You have a proper row here. It's, it's class. There's no like pussying around. People just have it out with each other. Let's get in the shade. It's too hot. So it looks like, yeah, this is definitely it. This is the bazaar, the Tel Aviv bazaar. It looks pretty big. We've got candles for church. <clears throat> hey, it's fairly busy, a bit of a traffic jam. So yeah, you've got the aerial view. You can see how big it is. Hey, it's quite big and it's covered and it's cool in here, which is which is great because it's so hot out there. We've got all these herbs. This is our first Georgia market. This is like our first taste of the country even. Are these mushrooms? So I think there's all these mushrooms everywhere. Everyone's selling these. Where we're staying actually has a mushroom farm in the garden. Oh wow, church color. it's church killer heaven, so church killers, oh we're gonna have to have a look at these please. Church killer's my favourite snack in the whole world, it's the walnuts on the string, but here they also do them with fruit inside, dried fruit I think. Oh there's so many. Oh some foreigners. Doing a bloody tour, we don't do tours do we around here? <laughs> This lady's got us. What's this? Herbs. Got my job. Does it smell good? I will have a smell. Oh, it smells delicious. We do not need, thank you, mad lover. We don't need any herbs, we're not doing any cooking. It smelled well, but what was it? Mm. Uh, oh, we need to follow our rule of going deeper into the market. Three pounds for like a kilo. It was, it was ten. Lauren. Really? Yeah. Oh, they've got. I don't know what to get these. <laughs> these are small ones. It's actually not that big, but it's a nice size. Look, you can see. No, it's really nice now, I like it. It's like a manageable market, not like a super overwhelming one. Like, it's not a sensory overload. You actually can look at stuff. What have we got here? Cabbages. I need to uh, stitch my pants. Go on. Add the in the lorry. <laughs> yeah. 30p for a little... What, what do you call that? A yarn? Yarn, yeah. Yarn and a needle. Mm-hmm. 
Didi. Didi Mababa. Didi Mababa. Right. We've got fish blocks here. Come on, Joba. Oh, I love it here. They sell the chickens with the legs, feet on. They usually they cut them off, don't they? But they don't do that here. Quite a deal, but I think to be paid. What are we getting then? What, what should we get? <laughs> oh shit! All the fresh fish. All alive in the tanks. And this is supper up. Ah, oh, wow, the great. Mm, nice, but not as sweet. Mm -mm. This one's got an Armenian. I'm gonna get a pomegranate. And just try it then? Yeah. Adin? Adin Grenade, Do you want one as well? I'll get one from a different person. Oh. Mm. You can see they have all kinds in there, don't they? <laughs> and Stoeta, is this um, grape, just normal? Mm -hmm. Um, store for that. Two fifty. Two fifty. Okay. And is is this? I didn't say. Store store fruit. Store store fruit. Fruit. Oh. Vinaigrette. Ah, vinaigrette. Classic. It's from Dublin. Oh, this is this is uh, well, that the one I've got hazelnut. Oh, you've got hazelnut. You've got hazelnut. Yeah. And this is classic. And this is walnut. Yeah. Oh, shall let's get one classic? Yeah. Yes. Add the integral. Two fifty. This is the classic, just the, the grape juice. Oh, phone's ringing. I have two fifty. Two fifty. What's that like? Sixty. Seventy-five p. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Romeli. Any? Yeah, any. We're not bothered. <laughs> Sure, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a try on that then, while we've got it. Do you eat this bit as well? Yeah, that's is this just, bit, is this bit that's just, just juice? Bit where the juice is like <laughs> Oh, I thought I had a string. All of these spices are one. Because I think that's what misses my spice. They eat spicy food in Western Georgia, so I know you can actually get spicy food here. They have this, this is called Ajik, it's like spicy. Pace. Is it good? The grape juice is good, but I've not got the nuts yet. Oh, this one's a lot nicer than the one. This one's sweet. I like it a little bit sweet. Not too sweet, but... Let me get some fruit inside around. Mm. What's this? We've got a little bakery. All, they're all hole in the wall spots. Hmm? Just, I'm amazed at the cost of the fruit. I just One, so it's 30p for a kilo of potatoes. 30p. 30p for a kilo of cucumbers. Everything's like 30p a kilo. Oh, there's another room here, or is this the same one? So let's try some of this church keller with the, the actual... I've got walnuts, haven't I? Yours is hazelnut. Mm. Hazelnut and pomegranate. Oh, it's are pissy. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Toilets, bloody hell. That's horrific. What's down there, all the dead chickens? Let's have a look. This is interesting. Mm, I'll just try it. Big bite. Mm, oh, hazelnut's delicious. You there? Mm. Not very sweet though. It's very light, this one. It's just subtle flavours. You can taste the subtle different juice, but. For me, it's like the world's greatest snack. I think yours is the nicest. Mm-hmm. Yours is a bit sweeter. Mine's just a classic, but it's really good. I found a little bit of livestock. Are they alive, these? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I'll just sit in this. Ah. 
flowering them here, just sitting each other out. Look at the size of that rabbit, her leash. That is massive. Look at the size of you. All right, lids. Look at that, I love it, they're just all sitting there. <laughs> we just plonked them in the shade on a cardboard box. What are they selling here, like handmade baskets and whatnot. Alcohol. There's an alcoholic drink here called Charshaw. We tried it before in Ukraine. It's like the strongest, it's like rocket fuel. It's the strongest stuff not to man. Oh wow, these are really good fried goods. Do you know what Is it that Lobiani? No, I don't know. Is it Miasa? No. Sira. Ah, Sira. Ah, okay. Cheese, cheese. Okay. So I said, where comes that? Do you want one now? No, I want that sausage one. How do you say it? Adding kolbas? Kolbas? Kolbas. One, one twenty. Not too bad, that one. Forty two, innit? <laughs> it's not hot dog sausage, though. It looks like actual sausage. This looks good, it's a huge fried cheese this. Feed him a little. So it's a bit hectic, as well as the indoor bit. <laughs> as well as the indoor bit of the market, there's the streets are all lining it. They're just full of people selling fruit and veg and spices and flowers, apparently, as you can see now. And bananas. <laughs> There's just so many hole in the wall bakeries. What we have to peaches. We've got a cheese lady on the street. A rug shop. Oh, look at those tomatoes. Really, they are absolutely huge. Special Georgian tomatoes. Mm. These red peppers look good as well. Yeah, I'm gonna love you to be sharp. Yeah, I'm gonna love you to be Oh, it's not too bad for four good juicy peaches. So yeah, we napped all day. I didn't really film any sort of ending to our little market on. We just got a few things, a few church killers, some fruit. What else? Is that it? I don't think that's not, is it? Maybe that's it. A few snacks. Market was alright. I just shot actually while we're here. Can you see those mountains? Those incredible mountains. They are on the other side of those mountains is Russia. So that's how close we are. And then all the way over there is like the Tosheti mountain region. Which is like an incredible I don't know, like one of the oldest inhabited places in Europe, I think. All the vendors who sold the cheese and stuff. They're from Toshete. Yeah, they bring the cheese. They come. The so not too far from it. Well, it's like a seven hour drive from up like a death road, but these it's mountains. The worst road in Europe to get Most to dangerous in Europe, supposedly. But look at the mountains. They're, they're so like. What would you say? I don't Trans. know. You look at them, it's hard to believe them because they're just. Yeah. They're massive. They're so big and it's just flat and then the massive mountains. So yeah, Georgia's a mountainous country. There's, there's loads of different mountain ranges like that. Yeah, the market was all right. You can definitely tell they get, like, com compared to what we've been before, they get a lot more tourists here, like they used to here. They're not like, like, no one really even looks like they're not too interested in you. So it's like different than, for example, you go to a market. Yeah. Where have we been? I don't know, you go to a market in some random town where like they don't get loads of group tours and tourists. And everyone's like laughing at you and stuff. It's not like that, it's like... You can definitely tell that it's more touristy is all I'm saying. But I think... I think the prices were alright. It was alright. It was alright market. 
nothing like out of the ordinary, but it was alright. We'll see, we'll see what else Tel Aviv has got in store.